Hi, I'm Jean-François Kane again for episode number two on HDR FX Pro. And remember, at all time, you have 15% rebate by entering JF Kane with four capital letter and three small in Nick Software Order Department. So here we are. Let's go and edit that tunnel image here. So automate nick merge to hdr effect pro so let's open that very simple interface select and here we go i have my folder here um images tunnel here we are three images one stop over one stop under and the suggested exposure i will ask the software to do the alignment for me making sure that all images are on and i will leave the ghosting reduction off because i have no walking people in there and i want to merge the effect of the water at the end of the tunnel so let's go i say okay on this and the software start making his own business making copies and working copies and preparing the magic to happen so here we are Toom. easy as this here we are presented with the easiest hdr effect interface available so here we are all my presets are here all split into categories realistic artistic surreal landscape architecture and my image is already proposed as a result of combining the three images together so if i go and look at the realistic classification here i have six choices and when I click on realistic balance, you see how it changed. Realistic strong, you see how it changed. And you can see also that the keys on the right hand side, right here, do change every time I hit a preset. This is where the magic goes because all of this you could have done yourself. These presets are only a way of helping you being creative on this so let's go into the architecture which i like on this and i have the clean city preset which give me the effect i like and very closely to the effect i saw but i want to lower a bit the brightness here in the whites so let me just bring down a bit of the white here and i would like to increase the structure structure means sharpness means separating each pixel from one another tone compression like i said earlier here is the how much of the range of density will be used physically not by your eye but physically remember that the hdr tried to take images and give you an eye like rendition what you would have seen in your life you have the hdr method that can be changed even if you have a preset now we are away from the preset and making our own discovery if i decide to save this as a preset i will be coming down here at the left hand side add preset and save it as the for example tunnel clean plus and save it and next time i want that exact kind of effect i can go into my custom setting where i will find tunnel clean plus 
at the base right here. So I can save it and I can also, what is great, share it with other users. Last thing that we will see here is the U-point technology, the control point. The U-point will allow me, for example, to take that red box that is hiding the light and take that box and take away some of its brightness because I think it takes a bit too much in the image. I will just click my point on the back of the case here, select the size of the box with the cursor and take the exposure down a bit only on that red brilliant part here and I could be making changes to the black saturation contrast exposure but I've decided only to take a little bit of uh, intensity off of it to take away the way it comes to us so you can check what area is covered by your U-point by clicking on the little square right here and I'm very happy with this. I will not go further here. I will not add a vignette because I think that the round is already nicely made here and I will not go and play with curve. I could just go and you know make all these adjustments like a pro but I'm very happy with this and I will say okay and save the image and the image will be saved and appear directly in my Photoshop to be edited one more step and remember if it saves with a little 16 here on top it is 16 bits and many of Photoshop filters do not work on 16 bit so to get out of 16 bit mode you go in the image mode and you will be selecting here 8 bit per channel now all your filters for Photoshop do work so remember I'm Jean-François Ok and I'm the studio coach for Nick Software HDR Effect Pro and you can have 15% rebate on all your purchases at Nick Software using the code JFOKANE see you in the third clip about single image editing